Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Valentine's Day. We are doing our third Valentine's Day look today. Something super smoky, really sultry, just a nice cute brown smoky eye. So let's go ahead and jump right into this look. I've been doing skin first these last couple of days and I really, really love the way that my makeup has been turning out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. So to prime, I'm gonna use a mixture of two different primers from Makeup Forever. These are their step one primers in the Shine Control, the bleh, shine control one and the pore minimizing one. So I use the shine control one on the areas that I get oily and then the pore minimizing one on my larger pores. So like towards the cheek area and everything. So we use those to prime. I'm then gonna move on to foundation. I'm using this new one from Huda Beauty. This is their faux filter luminous matte foundation. I'm wearing the shade gingerbread 430 neutral. I've only used this foundation about like maybe two or three times, but so far I really, really, really love it. It's definitely on the full coverage side and has more of like a soft matte finish. So if you're looking for those like kind of qualities in a foundation, I'd highly recommend that you guys check this one out. I'm then gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brighten and Corrector Duo. I'm using the corrector side for the under eyes and kind of like the inner portion of the lid. I get a little bit of darkness in those areas. So this is just gonna give me a little bit of extra security underneath my concealer. I was definitely feeling a little bougie with my skin routine today. So I went in with the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealers and I'm using shades M18 and M16. I'm using M18 first because it's a little bit closer to my skin tone to conceal the under eyes and bring some brightness into the forehead, a little bit on the chin and the sides of the mouth. And then I'll go in with shade M16 to bring some extra brightness into the under eyes and snatch the nose. Then to set my concealer, I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. And this one is in the shade Blondie, so it has more of a yellow tone to it. I'm only using a thin layer of this though, because I'm gonna be using some extra powders on top of this. So I don't wanna go too heavy with this first layer of powder or else it's gonna start looking really cakey. Don't mind me, I was listening to my vibes playlist. <laughs> So I was doing my makeup. I already knew that I was gonna do a voiceover for this makeup tutorial. So I was like totally jamming out like as I was doing my makeup. It was hilarious looking back at the footage. <laughs> Um, so my under eye setting powder is on. I'm gonna go in with my next powder. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Soft Mattes Pro Filter Powders. I think that's what it's called, but it's their compact ones. I'm using shades 235 and I also have shade 370. 235 I'm gonna use directly underneath the eyes to bring some extra brightness into the under eyes. And then I'll use 370, which is my complexion shade all throughout the rest of the face to set my foundation. Then I'm gonna move on to bronzer. I'm using the Soft Matte Bronzing Powders from Vesca Beauty. These are in the shades Kiss by Cabo and Kiss by Maldives. These bronzers are super, 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 super pigmented. So you only need a very small amount of them. So I'm gonna hit the forehead, the cheekbones, a little bit on the nose and a little bit on the jawline to bring some extra warmth into the skin. I'm then gonna go in with my blush. I'm using the BH Cosmetics Bellini Blush Palette. Sometimes I'll use two colors, but today I was just like, just use them all, girl. Like, they all look the same. <laughs> they all look so similar. So I just kind of dipped my brush into all of them and applied it onto the cheeks. I love using this blush palette though. If you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of like peachy blushes. So, but yeah, I'm just gonna add a mixture of those shades onto the cheeks and just make sure to blend it really well into the bronzer. I'm then gonna add my nose highlight. I'm using my Busted MAC Cosmetics Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Darling. I have a new one to replace this old one that I broke, but it's just been really tough for me to let this one go because there's just so much product in this one. So every now and again, I'll just like pick up my broken one and just use that one instead of my new one because 
you know, it just feels so wasteful to throw all of this good product away. Like, it's not like there's anything wrong with the highlighter. It's just broken. You know what I mean? So anyways, don't judge me. I have a new one on like standby when I'm ready to use that one. So <laughs> I'm then going to move on to my brows. I'm doing more of like a snatch brow today, but I'm using the same product that I always use. This is the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely by Brow Pencil in shade number five. I'm going to kind of create a line at the top and bottom of the brow and just fill in any sparser areas on the inside inside. I forgot that I switched up my brow gel. Usually I use the Benefit 24 hour brow setter, which is clear, but today I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is actually a tinted brow gel, so it's going to kind of give your brows a little bit of extra color, but I'm using shade number five, the same shade that I use in the pencil. I'm then gonna add my beauty marks. I have like a couple on my face that I like to redefine, and I also have a little pimple like right on my nose that I'm trying to like conceal. So I like to use my Melt Cosmetics liquid liner. This is a brown one just to create those little beauty marks there. And then we're gonna move on to the eyes. I wanted this eye look to be super, super simple, so I'm not gonna go in with too many products. So to start off, I'm using the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color. This one is in shade Coco. This is basically like a stick eyeshadow. So it's gonna act as our base for this brown smoky eye that we're going for. I'm gonna place it all over the lid and then just blend out the edges using a fluffy brush. Then I'm gonna go in with some shadows. I'm using the Artistry Vault Palette by Beauty by Melissa and Playing in Makeup by Yolando. The first color that I'm gonna go into is Glazed Donut. This is more of like a warm toned brown, so it's gonna bring some extra like warmth into the eye look. And I'm gonna place that all over the lid using a fluffy brush. Then next, taking the shade Arouse from the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Palette. Dang, that palette is explicit as hell. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use that shade to blend out the edges. And again, I'm using a fluffy brush and just using a really small amount of this shadow and building the color up as I go along. Then taking the shade Naughty, I'm gonna add that to the outer corner to bring a little bit of extra depth into the eyes. I wanted to smoke out the lash line a bit, so I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Pencil in shade Ebony. I'm gonna apply that to the upper and lower lash line as well as the water line. Don't worry too much about being neat with this step. We're gonna add an eyeshadow on top and like smoke it out anyway. This is just gonna be like our base for all of that. Then to soften that eyeliner that we just applied, I'm using the shade Girl By, which is our dark brown from the Artistry Vault palette. And I'm gonna use a small brush to just gently smoke out the edges of that liner. And that's it for eyeshadow, super easy. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go in with some mascara. I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I'm just gonna coat the top and lower lashes. Then using that Oh Darling highlighter from MAC, I'm gonna pop that into the inner corner to highlight. And now it's time to apply our lashes. I'm using these Lily Lashes in the style Ella. I didn't wanna use a lash that was too dramatic, so I thought these would be perfect. They have this cute little flare at the end, so it kind of works with like the whole eye shape that I went with. Then for lips, I'm gonna start lining them using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in shade Foxy Brown. Then 
to fill in the lips, I'm gonna use this new one that I got from Fenty. This is their like liquid lipstick in shade Unbutton. It's just like a cute little like peachy beige type of color. Once I have the lipstick on, I'm gonna go back in with my lip liner and blend out the edges. This look was just calling for some body glow. So I'm gonna use the Danessa Myricks Illuminating Veil in shades Goddess and Radiance. And we're just gonna hit those shoulders, hit that collarbone, the decollete. I just felt like this look just needed some body glow. Like we're wearing this super cute strappy dress. You know, we need to make sure that that decollete and like all of that is just like glowing. <laughs> And then for the final step, I'm gonna go in with some setting spray. This one is from Benefit. It's their Professional Super Setter Setting Spray. And that completes this look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm so happy we got three looks in for this Valentine's Day. That was the goal, so I'm so happy that we hit it. Yes! Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.